to the sins of the fathers is a silent song and other, other stories. The sins of the fathers, we're going to dig straight into it. And before we get into it, in case you're coming across this work for the first time, somebody referred you to this work or you bumped across it or you came across it accidentally, how about uh, a thumbs up, a subscription, of course, a like. And all those three, they will do me good, even as we're trying to promote one another here. Therefore, The Sins of the Fathers. The characters, uh, characters in The Sins of the Fathers by Charles Mungoshi. First, we've got Rondo Ruafa. We have Selina, that is Rondo's wife. We have Mr. Ruafa, that is the ex-minister, Liberation War veteran. We have Basil Mzamani, Rondo's father-in-law. He's also an MP or a businessman again. Gaston Shoko, Rondo's colleague and friend. We have Yuna, six and Rhoda, five. Those are Rondo's daughters and Rondo's mother and Mrs. Quail. So, uh, in Charles Mungoshi's The Sins of the Fathers, we revisit scars of the past and appreciate how past hurts can uh, cause present and future pain if the victims do not heal and forgive their supposed enemies. Forgiveness can help avert calamitous, calamitous rather, uh, trivials. Mr. Rover, an ex-minister and Liberation War veteran, clings onto hatred and this obstinate refusal to forgive and forget causes the tragic death of his grandchildren and his sons, father-in-law, when they perish in a car crash that he engineered. The focus of the main events, there's hate that ruins the relationships, anger is calamitous, and um, we're also going to be looking forgiveness heals past wounds. Therefore, the sins of the father's summary. Let's look at the summary quickly. Rondo Ruava, Rafa rather, wistfully imagines how his father-in-law, Mrs. Basil Msamane, and his daughters, Yun and Rhoda, met their ultimately death. He hopes that they died happily. Trying to erase his own pain, the three jolly family members perished in a tragic car crash after attending the girls' birthday party at Rondo's house in Borodale. He has been grieving for a week now, numbled, all numbed by the pain. Rondo is surprised when his father avers that one day Rondo will be grateful and glad that the tragedy happened then and not later. He adds, you'll remember me and thank me. That is on page 28. Rondo's thoughts wander to a distant introspection when his father leaves. The thought that he lives in his father's shadow knows him. He is not his own man. His wife thinks that she could do better in his pants and he is a laughing stock among his friends and colleagues. Selina, his wife, seems to be the more confident and influential of the pair. This can be attributed to the fact that they were brought up differently. Selena was brought up by people with long hearts, people who forgive others while Rondo's father is unforgiving, savage. His father is a bombed out battlefield of scars and his deepest scar is that he cannot forgive not just his enemies says mr rover his wife that is found on page 10 that one he cannot even forgive his wife or his son his bitterness arises from the past when his zezeru karanga clan was attacked by the mansviti in the Bele clan the war affected him so much that he always remembers the pain of the scars rather than the relief of healing the situation is compounded by the fact that his son rondo married into a Mutsviti family. Furthermore, he gives birth to two girls instead of a grandson who would inherit Rafa's wealth and qualities like his charisma. Mr. Rafa is so disappointed in Rondo that if it affects Rondo's personality, it is Mr. Rafa's ill treatment of his only son that makes Rondo a timid loving stock among his peers. It is therefore suspicious that the grandchildren that Mr. Rover considers a glorious die in an accident together with their grandfather, whom Rover detests so much. Rondo starts to put two and two together while interacting with his colleague and friend Gaston Shoko. Shoko refers to the accident that claimed Rondo's children's lives as a typical second street accident, a subliminal hint that Mr. Rover uh, may have been the architect behind the accident. 
The bad blood between Rava's family and Mzamani's family is apparent at the party. Although Basil Mzamani is benevolent and compassionate, Rava remains uh, obdurate and unforgiving. The two main speeches are, are the birthday party turn sour, betraying the underlying resentments. A day before the party, the two men also disagreed on the matter of white people in the country. Mr. Mzamani proposes that people should be viewed as individuals because some are good while others are bad. On the other hand, Rafa holds blanket condemnation of groups of people and views anyone who seemed supportive of his supposed enemy as a traitor. Further back, Mr. Mzamani had taken care of the expenses of their children's wedding, while Rafa skipped the ceremony altogether, claiming he was away of state business for two weeks. Mr. Rava also hungers for a certain farm owned by a white man known as a uh, quail, and he is ready to get it by all means. At the party, they try to conceal the boiling agitation between them behind the tight smiles and loud laughs. Later on, Mr. Rover recklessly talks about betrayals and enmity, enmity rather, between clans and families causing visitors to live uncomfortably one after the other. In the course of his rant, uh, Mr. Rofa derides their weak sons who marry into families of their enemies and contaminate the pure blood of the family. In his father's presence, Rondo always felt powerless. His mother insists that the old man loves his son but does not know how to show it. The story ends tragically when Mr. Rafa takes his own life using his service pistol after being confronted by his son who he hotly labeled as a slob. And then finally, with that soft, muffled plop, the bitter past filled with pain is probably buried. The sins of the fathers are washed away by their own blood. In the words of acclaimed American rapper and mogul Sean Corey Carter, that's JC, nobody wins when the family feuds. That marks the end of this particular game, tiny little episode. Good learners out there find it useful. And even in case you're this person who is in love with literature, this is most definitely the channel that you wouldn't want to miss. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe for future updates you wouldn't want to be left out. And above all, anybody who's joining onto this one, welcome on board and let's do this one together, even as you are getting into the new change of things. Adios for now.